my hair. I cannot believe this. Before this video gets started, I kind of want to explain to you guys what I did before I straightened my hair. So I basically shampooed my hair. I haven't shampooed my hair in months. I've just been doing co-washes and my hair reacts better to co-washes. But um, it was time to really like get down and clean my scalp. So I decided to use shampoo and I washed my hair with shampoo and then I deep conditioned for about 40 minutes. And after I deep conditioned, I went through the process of blowing my hair out. And that was, oh my goodness, I feel like that was like the hardest part in this whole process. I figured maybe washing my hair would have been the most time consuming part of this process. But detangling and diffusing my coils were the most like difficult thing because I have so much kinks in my hair. So I have 4B, 4C hair. And it's like, no matter how much I detangle, there's, there's always one kink left. So it's like, it was just kind of hard using that, um, the comb that was attached to my blow dryer. I almost broke it at some point, a couple times actually. Um, because, you know, I was just trying to like get it through. But after a while, I was getting the hang of it. And it was really helpful. I'm so glad that I actually invested in a uh, blow dryer that has that um, comb attached to it because, you know, taking the brush and then holding the blow dryer, it was just it's too much. So that is definitely helpful. So after um, diffusing my hair, I went ahead and sectioned my hair off and then I made a section out of the sections and then a section out of the sections and it was crazy. So I had to do anything I could I could to get um, my hair to you know lay as flat as possible and um, I definitely feel like my hair could be more flat but then I thought about it it's like I don't want it to be that flat because all I'm gonna do is like bump it and it's gonna give it more volume so I kind of like I kind of went through my hair like I'm not even gonna lie maybe two three times sometimes because my hair just wasn't really like laying like I wanted to, but it's because I wasn't like detangling properly. So when I actually like took the time to like finish detangling my hair, all I had to do was maybe like two good times and that was it. So when it comes to straining your natural hair yourself, you definitely want to make sure you have time to do it. It's very like time consuming, especially, you know, depending on the texture of your hair. Um, my hair it was just like it was really hard to really get through some of the sections after a while i was kind of just like brushing through and then i had to go back because i realized you know it is a process and you, you it's best to just make the sections small as possible so that um you will get the best results so i had to go back a couple times because i was being a little impatient my arms was hurt and i was tired i couldn't take it no more you know now i see why some of my natural sisters on youtube go ahead and you know take a trip to their local uh salon hair salon because you know it's a lot of work it is a lot of work but it was worth it i really am glad that i went ahead and did it because um, I think it's good to straighten your hair every now and then, maybe even like maybe once a year. Maybe I won't go so long next time straightening my hair. I don't know. I just never thought it was necessary because everywhere I go, it was hot. I live in a place where it's, it's humid and it's just it just wasn't necessary to straighten it. But, you know, it's getting a little cooler now where I'm living. So I just figured it was the right time to go ahead and do it. I had to cut off a couple of inches because they were just like so dead and I couldn't tell sometimes when my hair was kinky. So I think, you know, when you straighten your hair, it will help you to see, you know, what ends need to be cut out. But I am loving my hair. Like it has so much body, it's shiny and it's so soft. The products I use when my hair is so, so, soft i will be sure to provide all the products in the description box below 
Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? I like it. I honestly plan on wearing my hair like this for maybe about two weeks. Let's see if it can hold out. I don't really want to put any more heat on my hair. Um, I plan on doing the pin curl method. If you guys want to know more about that and how you can get heatless curls whenever you straighten your hair, please let me know and I'll do a video on that and show you guys how I do it. Oh, to add, so I didn't film myself washing my hair. If you guys wanna see my wash routine, let me know and I will make a video showing you guys how I wash my hair and stuff like that. I remember the times when I would, you know, go on YouTube and see all the other naturalistas and I would just be like, oh my goodness, is my hair, is my hair ever gonna get to this length so this blah, 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 blah. And it's just like, when I stopped worrying about what other people's natural hair journey was doing and started focusing on mine, that's when my hair grew out of nowhere. So, you know, if you guys are going through this, going through what I did, and you know, you're seeing someone, you know, their hair, and you're wondering if your hair is gonna ever get to that length, but just know that everybody is different. Everybody's hair grows at different rates. Everybody, is not gonna use the same products. Some products may work for me and some products may not work for you. So you just have to figure out what works out best for you when it comes to your natural hair journey. I tried doing the chase method, but it was literally just getting in the way after a while. I just, I just honestly just started using my flat iron and just running it through my hair and pulling against it. And then I would take my comb and you know comb it out and then I would do it again. I'm kind of glad that I didn't get it to be like silk pressed because it's just, it's just gonna make me look like a chicken head. I mean, like, I just don't want that. <laughs> I thank you guys so much for continuing to support me and tune into my channel. I know it's been a while. Please bear with me, guys. I'm still here. I'm still doing my thing. Sheep Monique is not going anywhere, okay? And don't forget to say sheep as always. Bye, guys. Shake my